Yep. So we are heading to. Uh, Can we switch? We're trying to we, go the we, roundabout. We, there you go. There we go. Just got to get out of here. Sorry, I didn't mean to touch your screen. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, don't touch the radio. <laughs> Jiggle. Oh. All right. Trying to make it go through the roundabout. So we got another speed bump here, which it slows down for. That's awesome. It's cool that it can see that, though, because it's not the clearest thing in the world. You know that the speed bumps are there, and it's able to was, see that. Was it clearly marked? Because that's the ones we saw. That one, kind I don't of, recall. Kind of? I didn't see it, so I didn't see. Part of it was yellow, but the other part was, like, just, you know, cement color or whatever. You know, gray, mm. I guess. So here, okay, this is a roundabout, technically. Yeah, technically, we should go right. And it's this is totally not right. <laughs> that is just so wrong on so many that's, levels. That's a bad one. Yeah. It's but, hey, sometimes. it's this is in a, a commercial area, which is very yeah. unusual. Um, and I mean, to be fair, there were no signs that said that that was technically a roundabout. Yeah, either. there was no yield signs. It was just no a roundabout way, shape. No, no road marking. <laughs> yeah. It was just like. So I'll, I'll save that. Yeah, bro. That was just like a random. Uh, the guy did the same exact thing. Did he just? Yeah, did that another guy, guy did the way. same exact thing, which is. The, <laughs> oh, they're they're little yellow. They're imitating yeah. humans. Yeah. Well, you know, Texans do whatever they want, you know. <laughs> but you see that? It's a different country here. Yeah, back it up is. Afterwards. Yeah. So it saw this person. It thought, okay, so, yeah, that was interesting how it reacted to that human. Yeah, you have these brick uh, crosswalks. But it's not like stopping for them, right? It's Right. It's, it slowed down. Mm -hmm. They weren't quite there, so I just went ahead and went. It is, I, I must say that it is so impressive that this is the level of driving they can get out of a system that's been in development for like a year. And this like... Yeah, brand new approach. Yeah. Brand new approach, yeah. you know? Yeah. Like they've definitely had a lot of approach, like they've had about six years of like work up leading to this. But the fact that they've come to this level of driving with about a year, oh, 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 oh like just weird. I wouldn't have done that. That's that was extremely weird. I'm pretty sure that Toyota was a Toyota before us. I don't even know. But yeah, that was just a very weird way of clearing the intersection. Stop for that crosswalk. Here we've got another one, or the speed bump rather. But that wasn't like a safety critical, like we had earlier. No, it it, it wasn't safety critical. It was just it was just like a weird thing. Okay, so here we got a stop sign. Let's see if it does. Yeah, so it should stop here. We need to go straight, so we want in the middle lane. So this guy did exactly what we did earlier. <laughs> All right, and that's gonna get in here. Is it going to? Or maybe maybe there's a third lane here that we don't know about. I think we are in the left turn lane. We'll find out. It kept wanting to go that way, <laughs> whether you tell it to map it that way or not. Let's go to left. I'm going to force it over this time. Okay. Yeah, it's a left turning lane. So we were in the wrong way. <clears throat> it might have fixed it, but somebody could have come and plugged the hole for us. True. Yeah, it, it may have made, went into the middle lane, but... But like, like that's an, a perfect example of what I'm saying, right? Like, that's not really, that's not a huge deal what just happened, right? But if I'm somebody that's new to the technology that wants to feel confident in the car, any other human would have, you know, 99% of the time would have just selected the middle lane and the, the fact the car didn't, people are going to be like, well, I, I feel like it doesn't understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. And that, that's the kind of stuff that I think Tesla's going to have to, uh, yeah, work through. This is new. Is it? No, maybe this one's been around for a bit. Okay. I'm thinking of a different HEV. Do you say H-E-B or do you say HEB? H-E-B. You know what it stands for? No. Here, everything's better. <laughs> wow. Such a Texan way of, like, viewing the world. <laughs> and I would, I guess, if you're from Texas, I'm really sorry that I'm going to say this, but H-E-B has nothing on Wegmans from the East Coast. So it slows down for the bump. Yeah. And then it enters the, the roundabout. Beautiful roundabout. I'm just going to move this pin over here so you no, we won't be able to completely change it by the time we're Definitely went a little bit slower than I would have. But it wasn't concrete colored either. Yeah. But I, I can tell you a lot of people would have taken that significantly quicker. Here we got more concrete, making a left, very nice. A new development out here. Hopefully we got no nails on the road. 
So we we might have an unprotected left coming up. You see how it's slowing up for these concrete areas here? Yeah. Well, it's um, the brick kind of can signify a crosswalk. So it's just being a little circuit. Yeah, see the the, the, the yeah. interesting the imager shows there's a crosswalk. Okay. Nice. Here we got an unprotected. Well it's uh, yeah, unprotected left. Okay. Okay, Bradford. This one's for you, Chuck. Alright. I'm putting my trust in you, buddy. We have a I, I don't know what it's called, a danger lane. We got a turn lane in the middle. So here I would have I would have gone already and it's just okay so now it's stopping okay I guess Yeah it, we we notice in California is w uh, way too tentative on the unprotected lap okay I don't I don't mind that So we got one okay we got two cars on the left one on the right so we're good after this pickup truck if it, kind if of it shoots the gap it needs to shoot it, it. it needs to shoot it shoot it no it's on the way okay <laughs> Dude, I'm like, not being in control of these situations, and I'm, I trust you, obviously, but not being in control is, there is a level of anxiety that definitely exists. And this is where Tesla needs to do such a good job to put that to ease. So now, is it going to go? It needs to shoot it's it. Got a white minivan. It needs to shoot it. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'd use the suicide lane in the middle. Okay. Yeah, use the middle lane okay. briefly. I, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. three drivers in the car no passengers yeah <laughs> <laughs> too many cooks in the kitchen right yeah we got a driver a backseat driver and a passenger driver <laughs> all right we got a left turn here with a little um median in the middle with a place to shoot the gap we got cars coming it's a place across the street called natural grocers and there's a walgreens so once we get over here i'm going to yeah. navigate to the walgreens okay and see how it gets there so it's still and oncoming traffic is turning i wonder if it's like you know, it has a corner right there, a little bit of a curve. That was really nice. The way to handle that was fantastic, and the way to clear the intersection was fantastic. If it can do that in every left turn, like that level of confidence, I think this thing's going to be a gigantic hit. Mm -hmm. So I canceled the destination. We're going to go to the Walgreens. Walgreens. Okay. I would really appreciate that. What, you're not going to New York with us? No, unfortunately, <laughs> I would love to. I would love to. Now, what are some tricky things with your the route you suggested to me? Um, Traffic, markings, some uh, some turns are uh, more than 90 degrees. Nice. Um, that was pedestrians, good. weird parking situations. Yeah. You just get the whole gamut. So it just pause there for like a potential negotiation with the the truck on our right that was wanting to come out yeah so here i would be creeping up to make a right hand turn right now yep because i have a i can do a right on red but it's waiting for the traffic on the left which i'm not mad about i would have probably done the same thing i would have just creeped forward a little bit more now it's green so now it's gonna go okay all right nothing wrong with that Ain't nothing wrong with that. We'll see if it it's it's gonna it's scheduled to go all the way to the light. Yeah, you can't go through here. Mm -hmm. So it's gonna go the right light. And then once it gets in the parking lot, I wanna see what it does. Yeah. What I love about this version is that it still makes a majority of the drive like brainless, like I don't really have to worry about the car. It's just, it's those little tiny situations where it needs to prove to me that, that it's got it. Which like, again, says like driving, a huge percentage of the driving experience is not really, relatively speaking, that difficult. It's those little situations that are hair raising, mm -hmm. you know? That take a little more experience. A little bit more experience, <clears throat> a little bit more confidence, you know? That's why I look at it. And this. if you think about the student driver. That's that, where I was going, yeah. When it went to T-Bone, that escalator, whatever, like. Nice. 
a student driver would have been confused in that situation. Right in between the lines. Psych, <laughs> right on the line. <laughs> At least it straightened itself out. It just straightened itself out in the wrong awesome. place. <laughs> well, we're going to go back to the supercharger and then we'll be done. Let's do it. Yeah, in that, so it it parked. Yeah. Successfully parked. So it's it's gonna want to do a unprotected left here. Okay, we gotta stop. Okay, this is gonna and we have a median and we don't we don't have room and we don't really have room to go. Yes. Um, so my entire faith right now is on Bradford. So let's see what happens. <laughs> Bradford, prove to me that I can trust you. <laughs> okay, so now is it going to enter? No, we can hit the accelerator and see what happens. Mm, okay, so I, I would I would do the same exact thing right now, right? Because I don't have a place to make a left. Yeah, you don't and have a car wait. coming on. Now it's got room on the left, but this car's coming on the right. But they're not really entering that left lane. Yeah. Which the car is maybe deciding that it's not. You can't maybe see that. Yeah. We got no one behind us, so we're fine. We got no one behind us. The slope of the road, you, you might not be able to see the, the painted lines. Yeah, and honestly, if somebody was behind us, I wouldn't even force to go in the intersection anyway because I don't know if one of these guys is going to enter the left lane. Oh yeah, right. Mm -hmm. Fair I, enough. So it's like I'm not I'm not mad about this maneuver at all. Like it's this kind of stuff. Like if it does this kind of stuff consistently, I'm not mad about it. See, this is why you're here, giving us this perspective. For sure. Uh, okay. Okay, so we got more guys coming on the left. Okay. So we have someone behind us now waiting. I might give it accelerator after this clears to left. Yeah, if, just to get it to start. If if we if there is okay, room, go Tesla. Let's see after the FedEx. Let's see if it goes. Let's see if it goes. It should clear. Okay, I'm gonna hit the yeah. accelerator once, twice. Okay. So definitely a little hesitant, for sure. It was also not the most, you know, the challenging thing there is because there was traffic coming on this side of the road and there is a left turning lane we have to enter. It's tough to decide if when to enter the intersection is the right place because if you enter the intersection then the, the guy that's coming down the street decides to go in the left lane mm -hmm. then all of a sudden you're stuck in the middle of that road <laughs> while you wait for this guy to enter the left lane you don't know if the guy behind that guy's going to enter the left lane and someone's going to come and be like why is this guy sideways on the road mm -hmm. you know so it's like but at the same time when that FedEx truck was clearing I would have entered that I would have entered that intersection quickly which the car failed to do you had to push it forward so it was clear enough yeah, yeah. Overall impressions, I've, you, you've given them ar already, but anything else coming to mind for yeah. you? Yeah, the summary for me would be, I'm very impressed by the progress. The The smoothness of the system is by far the best attribute. And a lot of the things that the previous system wouldn't do well, this system does extremely well, like exiting intersections, the way it approaches pedestrians, the way it approaches certain intersections, um, turns feel smoother and more natural. Now, in the same token, I can totally see why this is in very, in a very limited release, because from my standpoint, the discomfort I had from a comfort perspective, but the but the trust I had in the system is almost reversed with, with this version of version twelve. Whereas the comfort is superior mm -hmm. by a lot, but I don't get the same sense of, of safety as I did from the latest version of version 11. Mm -hmm. Because it seems like this one, this version is willing to push the, push the envelope. You know, it's willing to put, it's like that, that analogy you used about the student driver is perfect. I, almost, I would almost say this car is somebody who has their, their, their driver's license at 16. Like, you know, like their temporary driver's license in Pennsylvania, like you couldn't be out after a certain time or whatever. Like, I feel like it's one of those guys that's that's getting a little too cocky. Mm. That's that's the kind of vibe I, I get with this with this version. It's like you do have somebody who knows how to drive, but just is just a little too cocky, a little too cocky. I can make it. I can do yeah, it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I but, know, Dad. <laughs> but on the flip side, again, the, the biggest takeaway here is that it's it, it's in this version 
with the least amount of data at its disposal and the least amount of hardware uh, uh, compute to process that data and the least amount of feedback. And because it's an end-to-end neural network type approach, in theory, that data that they're gonna throw at the compute should fill in all those gaps relatively quickly. And so, and, I, and I'll say it again, I said it earlier, but I'll say it again. If, if that approach is correct, I would- We have no stop here. We have no stop, so we gotta so clear. So I'm gonna hit the accelerator okay. a little bit. Okay. Because it stopped before. Okay. And I don't want to create confusion for people in that intersection. Yeah, no problem. If if what Tesla is guiding towards is correct, what I would why would what I would what I would assume is that by the end of this year we have a system that's far, just far better than the current version. And based on what I've seen so far, what I'm most excited about is that these things that it's still missing. It's finding a spot for us. Yeah. The it, things that are still missing? The things that are still missing, the the hole should be plugged perfectly. Okay, and even though we, we wanted to go to the supercharger, it dropped us off on the other side of the road. <laughs> Get out Which is fine, it is but, what it is. But it's like literally- It's right there. It, it doesn't it's dropping 20 us off. yards away. Yeah, it's an off, it's a, it's a, it's a awesome. Well, awesome. thank you for Thank you very much, man. This was a pleasure.